time I told you I'd be there when you listen to me cry Today I'm just going to do a quick run through of a service on my 1995 300TDI Discovery 1. I've got a cheap budget service kit from Britpart and we're just going to put it on, quickly run through it and uh, give the car a bit of a freshen up. The air filter has come but it is the wrong size so I'm going to have to reorder another air filter. Um, we'll just leave the old one in for now, but that's probably the easiest job of the, them all, so it's not a problem. So, yeah, I'm just going to quickly run through a service. Um, we're going away next week, so I want the car to be running pretty nicely. And I did notice that the oil level was pretty low, so a quick service will sort that out. I've got to be very quick as well, because it's starting to rain. Typical, isn't it? No, go away. This is the vehicle that we are servicing. Are you going to help Daddy service the Land Rover? Yeah! Yeah? You're not allowed to touch anything though because you've got your school uniform on. <laughs> and we can't get oil on that because Mummy will kill us. Yeah. Yeah, right. So the first job is the fuel filter. The way to remove this is to just give it a twist. And if you can't do that, get yourself some of these pliers and it just opens up really easy nice easy job then you just unscrew it try not to dribble too much diesel everywhere Put that somewhere out of the way. And I usually keep hold of these and the box and I put the old one back in the box. I like to fill the new filter up with fresh fuel first. So I do it over this, and anything that is spilt is, is cold. Now we just screw it back on where the old one came off.
let's start her up and see if it works. The idea of filling it up is so that you've got less chance of having air in the system. The next step is a bit of a messy one, draining the engine oil out. Now, from under here, you might be able to see this. This is the drain plug, and as soon as we open that, oil is going to run out of here and hit the anti-roll bar and go everywhere. So, to combat that, I'm going to do this. Hopefully it doesn't go everywhere. Right, let's give it a go. <laughs> so that is what we're hoping to do. Some sort of capturing device, device like that. Could go horribly wrong and I'll end up in my face. Hope it doesn't. Right. <laughs> Wish me luck. Look at that. Check that out. I might say so myself. That was a success. Stupid design. Everything's covered in oil now. Well, removing the oil filter didn't go as well as I'd hoped. It uh, kind of made a mess. All that clean work that I did, keeping everything clean, gone out the window. I've got an oil patch there. The diff's all covered in oil. <laughs> this is what I used. Yeah, so I'd recommend using something like this. Pop it underneath the oil filter to catch any oil. It's quite difficult because the diff's right in the way, so you can't just use a normal tray. Um, yeah, I'm going to keep that tub, I'm going to keep this tub for future oil changes because that worked quite well.
I'll do. Some oil on the seal. Let's get it in the car. Oh, we're just screwing it back on now. There we go. Just do it hand tight. That's good enough. Now all that's left to do is fill it up with oil. One thing I have noticed is this belt, this drive belt, you can see there, check that out. So that needs changing. Luckily it's a really simple two minute job. I'm just going to quickly whip this fan off and then we'll take the belt off and I've got a spare. So I'll put that on for now and I'll get a new one ordered. So I've managed to find a spare belt. I'm just going to whip this fan off and change it for the old one. I can remember how to do it. Can be a bit fiddly to get it off, but yeah, there is a knack. We're losing daylight quickly as well. Right, next. There we go. Very, very cracked on the underside, and there's a, a flap missing there, there's a cut in it there. It's starting to rip apart. Oil on it there. <laughs> yeah, needed changing. Pop this one on for now, but I'll get another one ordered. That's all good. We're on. I'll show you. go just gotta just gotta put the fan on now and then we'll give it a start up we'll drive it for a little bit and then we'll test out the oil and see how high or low it is well there we go the rain has just started heavens have opened um, but we finished the belt's been swapped the oil's been changed the fuel fill has been changed we're ready um, one thing I will say is definitely if you're struggling to get filters off definitely get a hold of some of them players they're just oil filter players I think they're called really really worth the money it just makes it a lot easier um, we managed to get away with very little mess um, next time we'll be cleaner <laughs> yep yeah, so hope you've enjoyed it thanks for watching and we'll see you next time